Hi, second graders. It's Mrs. Shook again with our Unit 2, Lesson 9 for Grade 2 Skills. Our learning goals today. I can use quotation marks to mark dialogue. We're going to use some, uh, practice quotation marks some more. And then we're going to read the story, The Hare and the Hedgehog, and answer questions about the story. So a review. Quotations marks go around the words that someone says when someone is speaking. Okay, so we have another little stick figure. This is Sam. Sam is saying the weather is nice today. Today we're going to look at putting the, the spoken word first, then the part where it says said Sam. So it'll look like this. The weather is nice today, comma, said Sam. You'll notice that once again there is a capital letter at the beginning. Um, there is a comma, but this time the comma is inside the quotation marks. And the ending punctuation is all the way at the end because this is a period. So, quotation marks, the weather is nice today, comma, quotation marks, and then said Sam. So, we'll practice that some more. Um, on the screen, you'll see images of a person with their little speech bubble of what they're saying. So, we're going to write in or type in what's missing. So, this is Mike, and he's saying, tell me a bedtime tale. So, to write that, it will say... Tell me a bedtime tale. Tell has a capital T. Tell me a bedtime tale and the comma are all within the quotation marks. Jane, I will sell this milk. So I will sell this milk, said Jane. See, once again, it is a period at the end of I will sell this milk. So we just need a comma. Quotation marks, I will sell this milk, comma, quotation marks, said Jane. Mike's dad is saying, when the sun is down, it's bedtime. So there's a comma in the phrase he's saying, but don't let that confuse you. There still needs to be a comma before the end of the quotation marks to separate what is being said from the rest of it. Give a little pause. When the sun is down, capital W, it's bedtime, comma, quotation marks around all of those words, said Mike's dad. Jim, my frog hops like the wind. So once again, we're going to start with quotation marks and a capital M. My frog hops like the wind, comma, quotation marks. Okay, this one. Mike is a saying this, that is the end. This is actually a question he's asking. That is the end. Um, so when you do a question with the quotation in the beginning, you don't use, excuse me, you don't use the comma, but you put the question mark inside the quotations. So it will look like this. This is the end, a question mark. All of that inside the quotation marks, then asked Mike. So no, it's a question because it said asked. He asked a question. Next, P is saying, I will race your frog. In the quotation marks, I will race your frog, comma, said Pete. Okay, so you notice whenever the quotations are in the beginning, unless you're asking a question, you only have a comma. If it's and we learned before, if it's at the end, you put the, the um, quotation marks around the punctuation. Okay, so for our reading portion today, we are going to read another trickster tale. Um, remember, that's a story where the character, um, a character outsmarts a larger, stronger character. The last time we read about Jim and Pete with their frog race, where Pete outsmarted Big Jim and won the race. This time, this story has animals for characters. This story is called The Hare and the Hedgehog. If you've never seen or heard of those animals, this is a hedgehog right here, and this is a hare. A hare is a type of wild rabbit, much bigger than typical rabbits, and hedgehogs are small, and these are like little point, pointy things on them. So that's what the characters would look like. Okay, so you'll see these words, the oi words, oi, join, and coins, oi, enjoy, our owl words, O-W, frowned and how, and O-U, house, south, and out. Okay, our vocabulary. First word, brag. We talk about your strengths to the point of being annoying. Like Big Jim liked to brag about his fast frog, so it's all he talked about, and it just got to be annoying for other people. Stumps, the short part of a trunk left after a tree is cut down. For example, when the man cut down the trees, there was nothing left but the stumps. The little bit that's left in the ground after you cut the tree. Um, the phrase or saying in this story, out of your wits. A saying to imply that an idea is ridiculous. 
If you think it will snow in the summer, you might be out of your wits. Okay, our story for today is the hare and the hedgehog. Mike and his dad sat on the bed. Did you like the tale of the jumping frog? Mike's dad asked. Yes, said Mike. I liked how Pete tricked Jim by feeding his frog the limes. Then I think you will like this next tale as well. It involves a trick too. The name of this one is the hare and the hedgehog. What's a hare? It's like a rabbit. Okay, tell it. Once there was a hare who was proud of his speed. He liked to brag. I'm so fast, he said. I am the fastest. No one is as fast as me. Well, the hedgehog got sick of all of this bragging. He set himself to thinking how he could trick the hare and get him to stop bragging all the time. The hedgehog made a plan. He went to the hare and said, let's race. So here's a hedgehog and the hare and the hare's bragging about how fast he is. And the hedgehog says, hmm, I got a plan. And they decided to race. The hare smiled. You and I, he said, is this a joke? What would be the point? Those legs of yours are like stumps. And the legs are little. It must take you from sunrise until sundown to hike a mile. Will you join me in a race, said the hedgehog. I will join you, said the hare. Good, said the hedgehog. We will race south from this fence up to the house on the hill. But I can't race till I have my lunch. I'll be back at one. Remember, this is a trickster's tale, so someone is going to be tricking the other person, the other animal. When the hedgehog went home and spoke to his wife. Wife, he said, at one I will run a race with the hare. What? said his wife. She frowned and asked, are you out of your wits? He's so fast. You can't hope to win a race with him. Trust me, said the hedgehog. I have a plan. Mm, so who do we think is the trickster and who might be getting tricked? What's his plan? asked Mike. I will tell you next time, said his dad. Well, rats, said Mike. I, it was just getting good. I wish you could just tell me now. Next time, said his dad. Okay, so we're going to have some questions to answer together um, before, about the story. Question one, what did the hare like to brag about? And here's a section in the story that talks about his bragging. Once there was a hare who was proud of his speed. He liked to brag, I'm so fast. I am the fastest. No one is as fast as me. So what was that hare bragging about all the time? Yeah, how fast he was. He was the fastest. Why did the hedgehog want to race the hare? Well, the hedgehog got sick of all this bragging. He set himself to thinking how he could trick the hare and get him to stop bragging. Let's make the hedgehog made a plan. He said, let's race. So why did the hedgehog want to race the hare? Yeah, the hedgehog was sick of the bragging and he made a plan. So he was thinking, hmm, he's going to trick the hare and get him to stop bragging. Reread this sentence. The hare smiled. You and I, he said, is this a joke? Why does the hare think the hedgehog is joking? And a clue from the story, the hare smiled. You and I, is this a joke? What would be the point? Those legs of yours are like stumps. It must take you from sunrise until sundown to hike a mile. So the, um, the hare is thinking it's probably a joke because he doesn't think the hedgehog has any chance in winning, right? So why would the hedgehog want to race? Why does the hare compare the hedgehog's legs to stumps? Those legs of yours are like stumps. And we know that stumps are when you cut down a tree and it's a little bit left. What do you think? Yeah, hedgehogs have little tiny legs, whereas a rabbit has has long legs, longer legs, especially a hare. How does the hedgehog's wife feel about his plan? In the story it said, what, said his wife? She frowned and asked, are you out of your wits? He's so fast, you can't hope to win a race with him. So how does that hedgehog's wife feel about this plan? Yeah, she frowned. She's like, are you crazy? So she doesn't, she's not really supportive of this plan. Okay. 
So your assignment, you're going to fill out your Google form, answer the questions um, for lesson nine. And that is all great work today and I'll see you next time.